Hey guys, welcome to the channel Scuba Travel and Adventure, Thomas here. Today in a video I will be talking about something new that I have discovered uh, for mounting your action camera on a helmet. I made a video a while back um, how to install a GoPro on a Schubert helmet, uh, but since then uh, the original mount that I modified it actually gave up uh, while I was riding, it broke uh, and I couldn't use it again. So I made this one here a temporary mount with the swivel. Uh, basically it's got a longer extension that's curved and uh, the vlogging camera or action camera was sitting this way on a helmet which was still right in the center of the helmet but I don't like it because that's too much of the contraption and uh, the other day I was browsing online and uh, I bumped into a different type of mount I think they might be uh, 3D printed and the company name is called chin mount so I'm gonna try to mount this one and see how that goes it uh, had quite a few positive reviews and uh, at the same time, I ordered a bunch of accessories from them uh, that uh, you can mount the camera and a couple different uh, bolts and nuts uh, that comes in the package. Uh, the reason why I did that is because I have lots of those already except for a couple different mounts that's included here uh, that I don't have. But the reason mostly why I ordered those because I didn't really need it. Uh, it was cheaper to order the extra package than paying the shipping if you don't order over a certain amount uh, then you have to pay for shipping. Uh, so what I will do, I'm not sure if they approved me yet or not, uh, but I asked them uh, to give me a discount code and this way if I do have it, if I find it in, in my email by the time I'm gonna edit this content, I will include the link down in the description if you want to go ahead with that and uh, after you see the video how that looks I don't even know myself I haven't had that experience uh, firsthand so what I will do first I will actually unpack everything I'll show you what's in the package the way they design the packaging is very similar to the GoPro logos and stuff like that but so there is the chin mount I'm not sure yeah it looks almost like it is a 3d printer so this is the chin mount it looks kind of short on this side so I'm kind of concerned how is that really gonna lock in there but we'll find out in a second before I glue it on and then of course it comes with the 3m tape in the back they also include in a package uh, alcohol swab to clean the surface before you stick it on I will show you how to apply those uh, if you haven't done this before but it's uh, pretty straightforward and then they also include a little tether so basically that you have to put it somewhere on the side and tether your camera onto it I think that actually actually might be a good idea. I'll see if I'm gonna go ahead with that or not. I'll find out uh, after I install everything. But that might be actually a good idea because if, just in case if that mount, mount goes, you can attach the tether to your action cam and this way it's not gonna fall off. So let's see what's in this package here. So this package here contains a bunch of uh, smaller uh, screws, bolts and nuts. so the main thing that I didn't have is the mount that looks like this uh, it's kind of curved I wonder if that's gonna make an improvement on an angle that you can position the camera on and then very similar mount uh, that's come standard with uh, most of the GoPro um, when you purchase it and then the flat mount and they have their own logo chin mount on every every mount here and then you got a one longer extension one shorter extension what I also like is those little screws sometimes when you mounting the camera somewhere 
and one of those is too big so you can always use one of those screws with the allen key uh, to save the space this way you can tilt the camera a little bit more left to right or up and down however you mount it and then they include three different thumb screws two longer ones the standard size and one short one and and on top of it they also put in so you know one of those locks because the GoPro one has the rubber actually that flips over this one here has one of those locks that you attach to this and you can put it down here so now let's get one of these guys and let's see how is that actually going in there okay so it doesn't actually need to be that long because it fits perfectly as you see and it has a nice chin mount logo on the side if you can see okay yeah so you can put it uh, either way but of course that will fit only one way on a helmet because this uh, curvature is uh, apparently designed uh, to fit uh, the helmet so basically when you go to the website you will select what type of helmet you have and then you will find your chin mount that uh, corresponds to your helmet oh wow that's pretty actually cool so I'm gonna have to get the camera and see how is that gonna fit all together so anyways so I will get my heat gun and uh, what I'll do first most likely I will take this one off so basically to remove those you have to heat them up uh, probably with the hairdryer if you don't have a heat gun or a heat gun on a low uh, setting uh, with the, some distance so you don't burn the plastics on your helmet so I will use the heat gun uh, it's probably a little bit quicker than a blow dryer and then I peel that one off I clean the surface and uh, we'll put that on uh, one catch on those, uh, any of those three M's uh, mounting brackets, even the ones from GoPro, uh, they always recommending not to attach to the actual camera for uh, 24 hours. So basically once you heat up that surface, press it on, hold it for uh, like a minute or so uh, firmly onto the surface and then uh, don't touch it for the 24 hours, uh, let the glue from the 3M cure properly then it's holding strong versus uh, you putting the weight on a freshly glued mounting shoe I'm not sure if I mentioned before that's a Schubert C3 Pro helmet uh, that I'm working with and I've got my heat gun now so we can start taking off the old one first that's what I want to do Alright, so it came off nicely actually. Since I have alcohol, I'm gonna use my own instead of that little package. So yeah, you wanna make sure you degrease it so Yeah, so I'm not sure if you can see this is actually shaped just about perfectly where the vent is lining up so that's how we will stick it so I will heat up both surfaces I will heat up uh, the helmet and now we'll heat up the mounting chin mount super hot
So I don't have a camera not to put any weight on it, but that's pretty much how it's gonna look. It looks about straight to me, as straight as it gets. So I'm gonna take it off after I checked it, make sure it's straight. And I'll press it a little bit more here to hold it and make sure the adhesive is gonna bond very well to the helmet. So that's, that's enough probably, that has been enough time that I pressed it onto here. And as you see, that looks actually pretty slick and clean on a helmet. It doesn't show as much as the other one, it kind of blends in with that uh, black stripe in, in the front. It's nice because it doesn't interfere with your vent on a helmet. So next thing, I'll have to position that tether I'm not sure if I want that tether or I just gonna use the string and I'm gonna attach it somewhere in a helmet now that doesn't fit well it's not curved so it doesn't matter what you do it's not curved anywhere now I just gonna attach that like I did it before uh, sometimes when I was off-roading I was just attaching a little string to the camera and I and I put it under my chin strap uh, this way if that would ever come off the camera is not going anywhere so I'll stick to my old tested methods. So talking about quality of this thing, I gotta say it's pretty nice quality. There's nothing really, no sharp edges, no nothing. It's uh, made and printed pretty well. And as long as this one was holding it on the side, I don't think that that will be any problem as long as uh, the edges won't crack because uh, I'll be pretty sour if uh, the quality of the plastic that they use wouldn't be strong enough to hold the camera so yeah i'm hoping that it's gonna be good it looks pretty strong it doesn't look like it's a cheap stuff so thank you for watching this video i hope you found it helpful if you are on the market for anything like this i do recommend this product it's a pretty decent quality and it's a Canadian company based out of Vancouver. Since uh, I ordered this item, it took them about two and a half weeks. Uh, and I'm in Canada, so to ship it from Vancouver to Calgary. And I think they are making it to order, so they don't have a mass production. I think once you place the order, they might be printing one for you and send it. So you're supporting a local company. So it's uh, not cheap for a piece of plastic. <laughs> But uh, I guess somebody has to cover the labor and the shipping and all that stuff. But yeah, with the shipping, it gets tricky too because you have to order a certain amount to have the free shipping. Uh, this way, uh, you're saving yourself a couple of dollars. So if, um, if you need any like screws or anything, uh, look on their website. They have a little bit more items. And uh, this way, you can save yourself on shipping. So again, thank you for watching this video and if you found it helpful, don't forget to hit the like button, comment down below and subscribe to the channel if you're new here. Until next time, cheers.